you could be using formulas and then you plug in values and do that, but you know, this is just reading a table. So let's look at the last one here. And we'll put it right here. If alpha is 1%, how much is in the right tail and how much is in the left tail? Point what? 0.5%? 0.5%? How do I know it's 0.5%? Yeah, what's half of 1? Half of 1 is 0.5, right? So as a percent, move this two spaces to the left, 0 0.005. 0 0.005. Okay. That's in the tail. What's in the middle there if alpha is 1%? 99%. Is that right? 1% in the tails, 99% in the middle. Why is that? The sum has to be 100. Okay. All right, we're practically there. This is your chi-square L value. This is your chi-square what? R value. So for the R value, the right chi-square value, what percent of the bell is shaded to the right? Point what? What, what percent is shaded to the right? Point what? Point zero, zero, what? Five. So what do you see in the, it's not the 18th row, what row is it going to be now? 22nd row. What do you see in the 22nd row and the 0 .005 column? 42.796. Good. And then what do you have? Area to the right of that value. 99.5 is 99. what? 5%. 99.5%. So that's going to be 0.995. What value do you see in the 22nd row? 0.995 column. So here we go. Let's look at our first example. We're going to estimate the variance. So what do you guys care about again? Let's think about this. Variance. Variance. OK, we're going to think about some variance question. Um, hmm? Cars? How much people work out? Good. Anybody here work out besides uh, me, Moshi, and Lauren? I think we're alone. You work out too? <laughs> Let's see. I will even give you. Hmm. A sample of nineteen college students. reveal that 
they work out. <laughs> oh, what? Four times per week. with a standard deviation of 1.3 times per week. Estimate the true variance of workout times. Bless you. Guess what you guys use to estimate the, what are we, oh, what are we estimating anyway? How do you know it's the variance? Oh yeah, but you know what? We gotta estimate the true variance of workout times. We need one piece of information, what do we need? Yeah, what do we need? Using what? The ninety five percent confidence what level? Because we can't do it with what? Without it. Remember that? Exactly. That was a question that was raised. Are they going to give us this stuff? And I said, well, yeah, they will. You can't do it without it. Did they give you alpha directly? See what I mean? Okay, let's take a look. How do you guys do this? Your format is right where? Right here. So if you wanted, again, you can write all this stuff down. We can go, okay, n minus 1 s squared over pi squared r less than Sigma squared less than n minus 1 s squared over chi squared L. Do you guys know what n minus 1 is? Why is it 18? Right, if you wanted, can't we summarize what they gave us? Let's summarize what they gave us. n is 19, so that's a sample size. What's the mean? Reveal that, they work out what? This is the mean. Did they say it was the mean? No. So this is the mean. The mean is 4. What's the standard deviation? They said this was a standard deviation. They're always going to have to say this part. They don't have to say a mean, but they do say standard deviation. And then, what did they give us? They also said alpha is what? Why am I going to say alpha is 5%? Because the confidence level is what? 95%. Remember what the confidence level was? That was our 1 minus alpha. So alpha is 5%. OK? So they gave us all the information we need here. You guys OK with this? So go to the format. If n is 19, what's n minus 1? 18. What is s squared? Good. 1 point what? 3 squared, 1.3 squared. Chi-square L and chi-square R. Chi-square L, chi-square R. Well, how do we do that? Oh, I think we did it. Where was it? Wasn't it right here? What was it? 8 point what? 2, 3, 1. What's the other one? 31.526. OK. So here is 
So in your calculator, you're going to put all that information. 18 times 1.3 squared over 31.526, less than sigma squared, less than 18 times 1.3 squared over 8.231. So give me those two uh, values. What's on the left? 0.965 less than sigma squared less than 18. yes yes it's 18 see this 18 times s squared when you square your s you're not squaring 18 18 times 1.3 to the yes this is multiplication What did you get for the higher value? Bless you. 3.695. OK, oh, you got it OK. 3.696. OK, this is an estimation of the, oh, what is that, 95% confidence interval. OK. So here's an example of estimating the true variance and again all it is is plugging in your values into that format degree of freedom value s squared is variance sample variance divided by the critical values you follow that format for every single problem okay you guys okay with that now I'm gonna give you a note here let's note this note. If we want to estimate standard deviation, n minus 1 s squared over something less than sigma squared, less than n minus 1 s squared over chi square something, chi square, uh, what is it, right, chi square left, Good, right, and good. Remember, in the format, it's the opposite. It's the opposite in the format. You know what's a good way to memorize this stuff? I think we talked about it. You guys think I go home at night and I, before I go to sleep, I memorize all these formulas? No. I don't do that ever. Every time I use it, what do I do? Write it down. The only problem is if you don't use it, you're never going to write it down, so you won't remember it. 